Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the rookies dominating No Prep Kings Invitational this year. Now, for the rec lead to their foot owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, this is something that nobody saw coming. And I don't care what anybody else says, nobody saw two rookies in the Invitational, because they've been racing for a long, long time. But some new additions to the No Prep Kings field this year, dominating and pretty much destroying everybody in the Invitational point standings. And not only that, but we also have Clay Cole that came late into the game and got into the Invitational very late in the season, and he is number 10. So... This new blood coming in to the No Prep Kings Invitational this season was amazing. Nothing short of amazing. We have Damon at number one, Nate Saylor at number two, and we have Clay Cole at number ten. That speaks volumes of their programs. They definitely have a good car, good engine program. Obviously, they're good drivers, and they also have good crews. And the fact that they beat in the Invitational standings a lot of veterans, even Ryan and Kai in Damon's and Nate's case, that's insane. Because they came into the game and they did better than the other guys in the Invitational class. So nothing short of amazing. They definitely put in the work. Nobody saw this coming. Because we've all been saying that Ryan's going to dominate, Kai's going to dominate, Jim House going to dominate, etc. But they came into the Invitational this season and they destroyed everybody. At least on Saturday. They both won grade 8s. They also won several Invitational races. So they did amazing. And Clay Cole, if he would have started in the main class since the beginning... I bet he would have been top five at least. So watch out for these guys. And Damon came in with a combination that nobody had ran before or at least not successfully ran before because it's a billet block, big block Chevy with MBE cylinder heads. And he donkey stomped everybody, especially when he started changing or he changed over to the F4 136. And Nate was fast last season in the future class. This car came out of Larry Jeffers race cars back in 2022. He ran some future classes. And he also beat Jim Howe on one or two grudge races. And Jim Howe arguably had the fastest car in 2022. So we knew Nate was going to be fast. Damon, we didn't really know the potential of that combination. And he just proved to be really really fast and very competitive this season so watch out for these three guys next season because they can definitely run on top of the field and they can win races they also won grade eights so let's see what happens next year but hats off to damon nate and clay new blood coming in and they swept it